Hello, I'm Alex Fernandez reporting for Live News Today. Have you ever been on Route I-95 and seen those signs that say, come down to south of the border, or oops, come down to south of the border? Well, I'm actually here at south of the border to find out what it's all about. South of the border is actually older than I-95 itself. It's been around since the 1950s, selling fireworks to locals. It's since expanded to include a campground, one motel, an arcade, a pinball, a ski ball, and a pool. Also, residents can live there as it offers a trailer park. Opened in 1950 by Alan Schaefer, who founded uh, the South of the Border Depot and Beer Stand. The reason for its name comes from the fact that it is located right in the border between North and South Carolina. It has grown over the last 60 years, which now it boasts amusing rides for children, such as the Sombrero Tower, which is over 200 feet high, Petroland Park, assortment of fun rides just for children. There are events as well, such as the Reptile Lagoon. The mascot of South of the Border happens to be a Mexican wearing a sombrero. Now, during Schaefer's life, the founder of South of the Border, he found criticism for Pedro as it is an unfair characterization of Mexicans, but he has argued that it was a light-hearted joke. This has been a special on South of the Border. Please stay tuned for more specials and interesting locations being covered 